Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The Rich Life. Today I'm partnering with The Home Depot to show you just how easy it is to create your own DIY shiplap accent wall. I'm in my kitchen in front of a wall that you see a lot in my tablescape videos, but today I'm giving it its own rustic chic makeover with weathered wall boards from Weber. So stay tuned, I'll be right back to show you how it all comes together with a little help from my favorite DIY uncle, Uncle Ricky, who I'm actually named after. Before I started the project, I measured the wall. It's 102 square feet, which means that I needed 10 boxes of boards, but I always recommend buying a few extras just in case. To complete the project, we used a stud finder, a pencil, measuring tape, a tri-square, levels, brad nails, a brad nail gun, protective gear, a jigsaw, a miter saw, and a table saw that I rented from my local Home Depot store super easy process. The first step was to find the studs in the wall, which determined where we could nail the boards. We drew a plumb line at each mark so that we could keep track of where the studs were as we moved up the wall. Next, we used the tri-square to mark the cuts and the miter saw to cut each board to length. Before we nailed each board into the wall, we used one of the levels to make sure that it was straight. The boards are all slightly different, so this step is really important. Next, we use the brad nail gun to secure the boards to the wall. We repeated this process for each row, staggering the boards to create a tile effect. When we got to the outlets, we used the jigsaw to make the cutouts. When we got to the top, we used the table saw to create trim that would give the wall a nice, clean, finished look. So this is how it all came together, and I love the finished look. I love, too, that I could get everything I needed right from the Home Depot. So I'm going to list all of the products in the description box below so that you can try this project, too, at home and know that each project is gonna be a little bit different. There are so many variations, so many options, that you can truly make a project like this your own. So if you try it, make sure you let me know. And as always, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to The Rich Life so that you can stay up to date with all of the latest. Until next time, take care everybody.